This is Teddy. And Teddy is a great dog. And if you're wondering how do we know that his name is Teddy, I'm going to demonstrate to you. This is a microchip reader. And I'm not going to show you the whole code, but this dog has a microchip. And when we sent the, co the code of the microchip to the vet, they send us the name of the, the owner and the place where, and the address, but there isn't the, the telephone number. This guy's name is Teddy again. He was born in 2016. He's a Hungarian pulley and he seems to be a wonderful dog. Some people are working on finding the, the owner's number. We do have the address, but we just want to, I mean, we can give him back to the address, but we just want to make sure that this, the owners did not toss him out because then we did nothing. We just gave him a room and gave him to the, and drove him to the destination they're going to, where they're going to leave him again. So while we are grooming him, some people are working on finding a number and he seems to be very, very friendly. Actually, he was in a place called Boljevci, near Belgrade. Belgrade is the capital of Serbia. And Sanja and I drove a little bit more than one hour to pick him up. Sanja found him on Facebook post. Mm -hmm. And we, we drove him here. And we did not bring the microchip reader. Normally when we find a dog, they don't have a microchip. Okay, Teddy. Okay. <laughs> So this is kind of a new thing and hopefully the best solution is that the owners had lost him, like he ran away or something like that, even though that is not responsible for them, it is better than they then they left him. So let me just check my phone. Okay. Okay. Again, he seems very friendly. Okay. And we were about to name him Goku. You know Goku. <laughs> and then we <laughs> found out that he already has a name. So he's around six years old. So he definitely had some grooms in his life. That's why this is not a new thing to him. And we're just hoping for the best. You know, someone might be very sad about him because he's not home. And it all happens because a lot of the people who have the dogs living in the yard don't have a fence, fence that is good enough so that the dog cannot escape and you know if they're not neutered they're going to try to escape to try to find a female and for who knows what reason they can escape if the fence is not good enough Mm, oil, oil, oil. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Hmm? That's Sanya oiled every blade, but I need more. 
I hope that she will not cry. <laughs> okay, I see some ticks. <clears throat> but the lady who kept him before we came said that she applied the neostomosan. So these ticks are dead. And if they were not dead, I will be I would be putting them in the in the bottle with neostomosan or ethanol or who knows. But in these cases it's all dead. So when you're removing a tick, it's not that important that you twist it a bit. You just have to <coughs> to get it as closer to the head. I mean, do not pinch the body with this or, you know, you just want to get as close to the dog's skin as possible and just pull it out. Pull it out. And guys, if the head of the tick left inside, you know, stuck, it's not a big deal because the body will eventually like spit it out, if you know what I mean. It's going to get out, but just don't press on the body of a tick because then that things that tick has in, it, in its body can, you know, get in the dog. So we're going to do this little by little. He's a great dog. So the dog on our previous videos, on our, sorry, on our previous video, the black dog called Lucky that is blind and was aggressive is actually doing pretty well. I mean he's behaving, yeah, this is a tick, so don't pinch on the body, just get as close to the skin and just get it out. So this tick is dead. And because the tick is dead, you can toss it in a trash can. If the tick is alive, do not, you have to kill the tick. The best way to do it is to, when you get it out, to put it in like a ectanon or neostomosan or ethanol. You just want to drown it, make, because if it's a female, it can lay eggs and you know even if you toss it to a trash can you can lay eggs and who know <coughs> who knows how many ticks can get back on the field right sanya <laughs> So I'm grooming him with an eight and a half blade because I think that it, I don't have to use a 10, at least for now, maybe for some parts 
I'm going to have to use the blade. Again guys, thank you so much for helping my friend Gordana who takes care of a lot of dogs throughout PayPal. I mean thank you for helping her throughout PayPal. I know that she replies to every single one of you personally, if even though her English is bad, she uses the, the Google Translate. But thank you because you're making it easier to her to continue doing what she's doing. Okay, I'm going to do the tail now. And guys, I am experienced. I have a lot of experience with doing these matted tails. Sonia is always laughing at me when I say, okay, guys, because that is, that is something that I said. So when you have a matted tail, you can start by grooming with the clipper from this part to this, but the very good thing you can do is to take the scissors, be of course careful as always, and cut it here on the top. You're gonna start with that. And now I'm going to take the tank clipper. The tank clipper is shorter than eight and a half and it's going to be easier to take these matted pieces off. And when you take a big part off, just take the scissors and cut it off because when you when it's moving, it's hurting the dog. Okay, let's. Okay, Teddy. Teddy. And actually, we thought that he's younger, but he's like almost six years old. He has a great personality, so... Even though, even if the owner left him... He's going to find a great home. And guys, about our Egypt trip... I paid for the whole thing yeah. <laughs> and it's because I'm a gentleman, I'm a kind person, I'm a good man <laughs> and I just paid for everything. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> so that's it. And thank you guys for supporting me and not Damian. Okay. 
Okay, until it's free and done. Okay, Sanya just found the number of his owners and because when you have the address and the name of the person you can somehow find the number and it was the the guy we talked to, we spoke we i asked him like do you have a dog named teddy that is a hungarian pulley and he was like because we found him and he was like no we never had a hungarian pulley we have some terrier i don't know which dog and i was like are you sure and actually the dog is not cheap on his name it was chipped on his father's name and we asked him like do you does your father has he have a dog that is that has a microchip on his name and again he said like like no we never had a hungarian pulley and he asked if it was possible that someone else, someone else uh, chipped the dog on his father's name and i told him that that is not possible so he was like i'm going to ask the brother uh, if he ever had a hungarian pulley that he chipped on the father's name so we're waiting for that answer but i don't know guys everything seems suspicious a little bit and we just don't know what to do the worst thing we can do is get the dog back and that day and that the dog end up on the street again that is something that we're not going to do <laughs> this dog deserves a loving family and he is going to get one He's gonna be in a temporary home if the owner does not you know I mean I'm hoping that maybe it was some kind of a mistake but you know in my in my country who knows maybe that they had him when he was little and they tossed him like five years ago uh, and bam <laughs> so but he's a wonderful dog
Petržik. I'm going to change the blade. This one got a little warm. And I'm going to spray this one. Okay, the legs are done, and I'm going to do his private area now. I don't know what I'm going to do with the head. And I don't know what to do with the head. His head is not that matted. So just see. The ears are, so I'm going to shave the ears. Maybe I will able to I will be able to save the head a little bit. So we're very close of reaching 200,000 subscribers.
and thank you for that we have like 193,000 subscribers right now Yeah, I will be able to save the head. I'm going to make a cute little head. Take the scissors and make the head shorter before the bat. I just can't wait for Sanya to give him a bat. And I'm going to chill out, sit down on that bench and lift my legs. That's not nice at all. And just enjoy. That's not nice. I'm not going to help her at all. I don't care. <laughs> because. I don't know. Because I paid for Egypt. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're going to Egypt in 18 days. Yes. Sad. Yes. <laughs> she always does that. <laughs> And we're going to a place called Kurgada. We're staying there there for 11 days, right? Or, yeah, 11 right. days. <laughs> and then when we get back, we have her sister's wedding on the 5th of June. And going to be an interesting period because we're going to come back home with a great tan you know I mean I always get a better tan than Sanya when we are on the sea he's lying and and okay the phone is ringing just a little bit Hey, 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 hey. 
Wih, tadi. These are all matted parts that I want to cut off to make Sanya an easier job to brush the head. Thank you so much. You're so nice. Because I'm a good boyfriend. <laughs> right. Right, that's true. Sanya, right? <laughs> right, right. That's right. She thinks that she's just shy. <laughs> <laughs> get in touch in the, with the real owners or I mean maybe we already did but if we don't get this dog back to the owners which is very, poss very possible I'm going to name him Goku because Goku is awesome <laughs> <laughs> that is better Okay, I'm going to deal with the ears. Okay, and now, Sandra, just want to take the glove. And Sandra bought me these gloves that have a lot of powder. And she bought for herself gloves that do not have powder. And my hands are very dry and full of powder. And everything I touch is full of powder and she just does not care. And she laughs. <laughs> That's not okay. What a sad story. <laughs> well, I don't care. Well, that's not, not nice. <laughs> well, I don't care. You have the best boyfriend in the world. And you don't care. <laughs> and you buy him okay. gloves with powder. I will uh, buy them again. <laughs> got a lot of the hair out just want to take these chemostats to take the rest out okay okay goku This is a thick guy, don't worry, we don't use the same hemostat on, with, on ticks and on um, ears. Okay, let's do the second ear.
patates. Okay, the ears are fine. We're going to clean them later. And Goku, Goku, Goku. <laughs> Actually, his nails are fine. Just this one a little bit. Okay, let him up. There's some here. Now I'm gonna take the thirty blade to do the paw pads and then Sun is going to give him a bath. Hey, hey, Daddy. 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 His name is I don't know what I'm doing.
That's it. Sanya is going to give him a bath. We're just going to take a little break to clean and clean everything up. <clears throat> Here we are in the bathtub. As you can see, he's very, very dirty. And Sunny is going to give him a bath. Let's see how that goes. Okay guys, this is <laughs> Chris Christensen hydrating plant. <laughs> and look at Damian. <laughs> he is so lazy. <laughs> he is resting and chilling. Why I'm while I'm working. I don't like it at all. Coxie must love you.
Sanya just finished bathing him, drying him and brushing the head and this guy is just too cute and he's also tired and now I'm going to shave his body again and make it all nice and even. Ta-da! <laughs> it's all nice and even now and I'm going to clean his ears and then I'm going to groom the head with scissors and that's it. My job is done. Sun is laughing at me like she does every day. He has some wounds on his ears, probably from the ticks. Okay, this one is cool. Son is playing games on the <laughs> telephone. Not not interested in helping. I'm just kidding, I don't need help. Sh 
she ate a lot of, of chocolate things. <laughs> you know, the drage. I don't know if it's called like that in your country. Chocolate drage. Drage. <laughs> <laughs> She eat a lot and she cannot move. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> she likes chocolate a lot. She likes sweets more than she likes me. That's not true. Also. Okay, the ears are clean. They were not that bad. Close this up. And Goku is going to be done pretty soon. He's Goku, he's not Teddy. <laughs> he's Teddy. No. Teddy. Right, Teddy. <laughs> Leave him alone. <laughs> Okay, the ears are done. <coughs> Daddy, <coughs> Goku, I'm going to use a clipper for around the eyes. This looks like a <clears throat> this looks like a dead flea. And I'm going to use comb attachments for the head. No 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 no. I'm gonna use the six millimeters on the side. Again, I, may, I want to make a short head, but not too short. And you always want this area on the sides to be a little bit shorter.
Searching for one comb attachment. Okay, I found it. Sonia hid it, hide it. <gasps> hmm? I did. Yes, you did. And now I'm going to take the scissors to blend this all in. And guys, I want to ask if there's anyone from the audience that had looked and I mean that had watched every of our videos from start to finish because our videos are normally very long and I know that the average is like 15 minutes of watch time it depends on the video you know but is there anyone who watched like every single one of our videos from start to finish?
and Goku is looking cuter and cuter. Guys, this is it. Goku is done. I think that he looks very cute and he's also very sleepy and tired from driving, from grooming. And let's just blow this here away. Ta da Bravo Goku! Bravo Teddy! <laughs> no, he's Goku. <laughs> Let's just see if there is any nice necklaces. Hmm. Yes, yeah, sport. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's it. Okay, Goku. Guys, let me know what you think. We're going to the vet now to do some tests. We're hoping that he's healthy. He's so sleepy. <laughs> and then we're going to the temporary home. Thank you. Oh no, it's not. A, it's not the end of the clip. <laughs> we'll we'll see you soon. Okay, so I just came back home uh, we finished at the vet and I am very glad to say that Goku is completely healthy he is negative for Giardia he is negative for heartworm and everything on 4D test and we took him to the temporary home and we are going to do our best to find him the real home about his owner uh, the son of the owner called me uh, the son of the owner called me again and said that his brother found Goku like two years ago and that he thought that it is a Lagotto Romagnolo you know the dog that finds truffles and that's why he took him and he got a microchip on his dad's name because you know the dad is older and the owner of the house and that few months after that Goku uh, Goku disappeared he thought that someone stole him I mean I don't know if I if that, if that is a true or not it's just the sad story and I told him like 
I don't care. Are you going to, you know, to sign that you're not, that this dog is not no longer yours, but mine's? And he said yes. So we're going to do all of the paperwork and Goku is going to be on my name until we find him the new owner and then we're going to change the owner on that person. So Goku is fine, Goku is safe, Goku is no longer on the street which is the most important thing and there are a lot of irresponsible owners and I just cannot waste my time on that and energy and that's it. Thank you for watching this video, thank you for supporting me, thank you for supporting and, help, and helping Gordana and we will definitely see you soon. Bye!